Hi class. So this study guide or this share note is going to be about classifications of uh, amino acids. We're going to talk about essentials and non-essentials. So there are nine essential amino acids and there are 11 non-essential amino acids. The word essential means that you must get those amino acids from food supply from your diet your body is not able to synthesize those amino acids so non-essential amino acids body can make them from other compounds for example glucose or from the essential amino acids so this 11 could be made out of those nine so there are 20 amino acids right so 9 plus 11 equals 20. so when it comes to animal products animal we call them complete complete protein why complete protein because they give you nine essential amino acids out of these nine essential amino acids your body is able to make those 11 non-essential amino acids and you will have total 20 that will be equal to a complete protein so on another hand when it comes to plant products plant products we call in complete proteins because for example one of the plant products might give you tops eight essentials amino acids or even if it's going to be nine essential amino acids it might not be not enough to properly synthesize all of the other amino acids uh, you will look at other textbooks it says that there's a soy or quinoa quinoa right has all of the nine essential amino acids there is a complete protein um i don't want to get into that thing so for our class plant products gives you eight essential amino acids so you still have to get those extras from somewhere else so for that that's uh, another um another approach to that is complementations complementation so you can complement one product with another and that will give you a complete protein so for example you have one incomplete plant and another incomplete uh, plant product that does not have all of those nine essential amino acids so when you complement one incomplete with another incomplete boom you have one complete protein you have those nine essential amino acids because one plant might be missing certain amino acids and another plant could be missing certain amino acids but by complementing one with another you will have a complete protein so and this is a great example whole grain rice and beans or corn because whole is a uh, corn is a whole grain and beans right so beans or legumes so why we can complement them for example legumes right or beans right legumes and beans you complement with grain products like wheat rice oats corn they are whole grain products so let's say grains are missing on lysine and let's say legumes and beans are missing uh, methionine so you complement that's why let's say hypothetically legumes could be up to eight essential amino acids and grains could be also up to eight essential amino acids uh, it could be less but they complete one another however this non-essential amino acid acids also could be present in animal products and also could be present in plant products so this is basically uh, the share note on essentials and non-essentials amino acids